Hello, welcome to this week in review for November 24th, 2010 on Green News TV. I'm Angeli Velasquez. A project of the week is the Netherlands Institute for Sound and Vision, built in 2008 in Hilversum, Nord Holland, the Netherlands. This building is home to one of the largest audiovisual archives in Europe and preserves a major part of the Dutch audiovisual heritage. Their collection totals over 700,000 hours of television, radio, music, and film, and has an intensive green roof constructed using a NOFA drain system incorporating pedestrian paving. The garden at the south side of the building was designed by the Dutch Noodlings Regic Architects and the design details and realization of the roof garden, which is located on top of the underground parking garage, was done by Donker Groen. To learn more about the Netherlands Institute for Sound and Vision Green Roof, click on our Project of the Week link on our homepage. The 2011 Green Roofs and Walls of the World calendar is here. This is a great holiday gift idea for the beautiful green roof wall or garden loving friend of yours. This calendar combines two of our most popular destinations on GreenRoofs.com, the Green Roof and Green Wall Projects database, and the upcoming events. So place your order today at GreenRoofs.com slash calendar.htm or just click on either link under What's New or next to the Industry News on our homepage. Also, be sure to read Linda's latest blog post about the new Sleeker calendar, which was redesigned by Caroline Minetri. New for 2011 is the inclusion of Green Walls, the newest architectural darling in the living architectural world. And as always, our calendar is eco-friendly, printed on 50% recycled paper with 25% post-consumer waste using soy inks. Next week is the Cities Alive 8th Annual Green Roof and Wall Conference in Vancouver, Read an invitation to Cities Alive Green Roof and Wall Conference under our guest feature articles by Jeff Bruce and Stephen Peck. Green Roofs for Healthy Cities, the North American Green Roof Industry Association, and the British Columbia Institute of Technology are pleased to be hosting this event. Now in its eighth year, the November 30th through December 3rd conference marks the first time this international conference will be held outside of the United States. It is expected to bring over a thousand delegates to Vancouver from around the world to discuss the latest research, policy, and technical advances in the rapidly growing green roof and green wall industries. The parents, Aramis and Linda, will be attending, so make sure to say hi when you see them. Also, you can download a complimentary trade show pass, which gives you free access on December 2nd and 3rd to the trade show by going to our upcoming events page. Press release for Green News for Healthy Cities announces that the Cities Alive conference will be climate friendly with offsetting initiative. GRHC says the conference will be carbon neutral thanks to offsets for its facilities and related emissions. Cities Alive is a climate-friendly event due in part to a partnership with Offsetters, Canada's leading carbon management solutions provider. Nina Wu of Honolulu Star Advertiser reports, Green Thinking Business finds growth in a rooftop. Two years ago, the office of Philip White Architects transformed the old building into green offices with a solar electric system, dual flush toilets, and sensor lights and now a small garden on the rooftop. Included in the garden are a kuli kuli, kupu kupu ferns and succulents, which can handle strong sunlight, and modules of herbs, fruits and vegetables, which come from Farm Roof, the latest venture by Alan Joaquin of the Wiki Garden. Paul Sasson of North County Times announces workers planning Palomar's green roof. Workers are planning a living roof on a 1.4 acre section of the Palomar West Hospital under construction in Escondido, California. It won't be ready until 2012, but Director of Facilities Construction for Palomar Palmerado Health, Wendy Cohen, said that it's necessary to get the plants in the ground, or roof, now to make sure there actually is something to look at opening day. Cohen also said the whole point of the roof is to connect patients to nature and outdoors. Landscape architect Andrew Spurlock of the San Diego firm Spurlock Morier said the roof's layout is designed to create a foreground for the distant views of the hills and mountains and really tie the hospital site into the surrounding landscape. 
Alex Sapam of CNN.com reports on teens in the Bronx get a lesson in green studies. Steve Ritz, a high school teacher at Discovery High School in the South Bronx in New York, has turned his classroom into a green learning environment. Textbooks are stacked on desks while the shelves are filled with vegetation. Ritz and his students have cooked 450 organic meals using vegetables that were grown in their own classroom. This is especially amazing because parts of this New York borough are labeled as a food desert because of the scarcity of fresh, nutritious foods. According to a survey by the Food Research and Action Center, an anti-hunger group, more than 36% of residents in the South Bronx lack enough money for food. These kids are lucky to have a teacher like Ritz who is not only helping them eat better, but is teaching them how to actually grow their own food in an urban environment using limited resources and renewable energy. To learn more about these stories and new ones posted daily, go to our In the News News League section of our website. We want your green articles, videos, or images, so keep those emails coming to editor at greennews.com. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and be a member of our network on LinkedIn, so you too can be in the know about what's going on at greennews.com. This has been This Week in Review for November 24th, 2010 on Green News TV. We hope everyone has a lovely Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm Angelie Velasquez, and I'll see you next week. This week's episode is sponsored by the Green Roofs and Green Walls Directory and the 2011 Green Roofs and Walls of the World Calendar, brought to you by greenroofs.com.